G'day scrappers, it's been a while again, <laughs> as usual I'm kind of uh, still uh, trying to get my mojo going uh, since, jeez, uh, the end of the year, so, uh, but yeah, all good, um, I've got a whole bunch of these um, display monitors, so they're the kind of monitors or TV screens kind of that you put together and they, you know, make big wall displays, uh, signage and all that. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just go through uh, a, a few different ones since uh, I've got them here. And uh, the this Mitsubishi electric uh, model is uh, not a bad one compared to the others because at least it's got a couple of cards. Uh, I just scolded myself, so I'm just trying to protect it a little bit on hot water. So yeah, at least they've got a couple of extra cards that are here. Um, I mean, nothing spectacular. They're only kind of like mid-grade boards, but um, ah, well, it's a start. So it's, it's a bonus compared to, and it could also have another two. It doesn't have them, but uh, there is an option for uh, two more. And yeah, so I've probably got five of this model, and then uh, NECs and uh, Samsung, I think. So oh well. Since I'm finally doing these, uh, they've been sitting around for a few weeks now, and usually, you know, monitors are a low priority uh, until they get in the way, and then I've just got to uh, get processing and, uh, yeah, get rid of them somehow. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is trying to take off as much metal as I can, uh, because, you know, we can sell scrap steel. But uh, I'll probably have to take these to the transfer station and get them recycled that way because uh, I won't be able to take these whoops, to the scrapyard. So it looks, yeah, I mean, they're okay. I mean, they're probably, I guess, they are better than just the irregular smart flat screen smart TVs that we get these days there's virtually nothing in there uh, it doesn't matter how big they are uh, the, the cards are you know really tiny and uh, no value at all uh, so obviously we we don't pick up uh, monitors unless we have to and in this case I you know it was part of a job so I had to take them away and yeah, it's it's not a problem. It's part of e-waste recycling. And, um, but normally, if they're just television mo monitors, just regular, I don't uh, I don't bother trying to scrap them out or anything. I just take them straight to the transfer station and uh, leave it at that. Um, so yeah, low value, but uh, because. Most people don't kind of get these display monitors. I thought, oh, well, they might be interesting to uh, scrap out and just have a look at the difference between these and your your regular TVs. And so, hope everyone's been going good and uh, for those that are scrapping, hope you're getting a lot of good stuff. Um, me, still, still pretty much the same. Uh, very much very quiet but I am in the process of trying to uh, you know catch up with uh, clients that haven't called in a while and just see what's going on and and um, if they've got stuff and or whether they've moved on elsewhere to other recyclers um, a lot of times also um, places change staff that deal in in their electronics or e-waste and so they don't you know they don't have um, the details of the previous recycler and so therefore um, they'll just ring a random one and uh, and that's it and that's kind of uh, one way how you you can lose clients and um, I've lost uh, a few schools like that because the technician has moved on and never passed on 
um, my information. Yeah, a, a, a quite a nice card, but really nothing much to it. There is a BGA here. Uh, it's still, it's just a mid-grade board. But okay, well, it's probably uh, more scrap steel than anything. And just, like I said, a matter of getting rid of the screen to the recycler. Let them uh, process it properly. Just trying to work out how to get it. I think the whole plate doll doesn't really matter. And it is just a, a power board that uh, these days I don't I don't try and sell power boards. I just scrap them down, get all the uh, transformers and extrude aluminium out, iron alley. Yeah, so there you go. Capacitors, iron alley, extruded or clean up transformers. These coils, throw them in transformers. Hey, if I took all, all the rubbish off, you know, almost, depends how it looks, but it might even get away with it being a, a mid-grade board after that, if there's some uh, little IC chips and stuff, but with all the transformers, certainly just a power board for those newbies that, uh, you know, just sort of picking up this hobby of scrapping e-waste and stuff, you know, uh, there's always someone that needs the information, so. Huh. I was wondering how to get that. Yeah. Again, scrap steel, I'm not sure if this is uh, aluminium. Yeah, this one. Just scrap steel. All right. Um. Yeah, really not a good, not a great deal. Um. I mean, we certainly don't expect great great deal in these TVs anymore. Uh, since the plasmas. It's just a power board, so once again, remove uh, the bits of aluminium transformer and the rest is just, well, there's really not going to be much left, just um, scrap steel, or pressing steel. T-con board, as usual. Yeah, so, yeah, I've been, um, as, as I said, I've been a bit lazy and uh, I was reasonably busy this week. I had uh, three scrappers bring me boards um, and just doing odds and ends. Here you come. Yeah, and, and there's the street sca scrapping scene at the moment in, uh, around here anyway, it's, it's almost non-existent. There's our little T-Con board, um, still only a mid-grade board. Yeah, so, um, yeah, unfortunately, not much street scrapping going on, so uh, the closest one here is around July, I think. Um, that's when they get rid of their hard rubbish. And uh, But at the same time, I'm pretty sure it coincides with uh, another area which I actually prefer to do. So um, I might do one day of each 
um, and just sort of go like that. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, the garbage collections collectors they've swindled us out of um, hard rubbish pickups and uh, instead of uh, putting it out on the street like you might have you know you you're all aware of here um, now it's a booked pickup so <laughs> yeah book pickup I think that's aluminium is uh, yeah book pickups are no good to us because well to me anyway because uh, that's aluminium so at least we get some extra value yeah because with book pickups they just uh, you know households you know call and book it and they don't put it out on the street they leave it on their property so uh, technically you can't enter a someone's property uh, there are still scrappers that cruise around but you've got to virtually cruise around every street in the hope that you'll find one house that uh, has made the book pickup so it's with the cost of fuel and everything these days it's just really um, you know not worth it for me anyway uh, apart from wanting to do it for a little bit of fun usually these handles are cast aluminium and they're quite nice and chunky, so rest is steel. <laughs> These days you've got to just get what value you can, try and maximise the value from uh, all the scrap or whatever you pick up. Um, and uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just a... So it's only two pieces of aluminium. I think some of the display monitors might have a little bit more. And all we've got left here are these sideboards, which, like I said, I don't sell power boards um, anymore. They're just not worth it. They actually get just as good money practically putting it out uh, just as pressing steel. Uh, we'll have a look at one, one of the boards. They've just got those flat kind of transformer thingies and um, they're even quite hard to get off the board. Oh, sometimes they are anyway. So we'll just have a look at one of them. Oh, I suppose I'm getting rid of the screen, so I might as well get the uh, bit of steel and uh, bit of extra value. I do want to see if I can get these transformer thingies off. Yeah, they, oh yeah. So there we go, we can throw these into obviously transformer. You've got, you know, ferrite and copper. So, <laughs> not a great deal of value, but, well, why not? Not really leaving much for the recycler to recover, but uh, the recyclers here that uh, processed, you know, collect televisions from recycling centres, uh, they actually, they get paid per, you know, by weight of the e-waste that they collect. So it's a win-win for them. Um, usually they then on-sell it or to a processor, um, depends what it is. Sometimes they might just might just be happy to uh, send it off to another processor to do it for for nothing virtually. But at the end of the day, they're still getting paid uh, reasonably well 
through the government to do it, to recycle. It's, you know, here in Australia, it's, it's now illegal to um, send off e-waste or put e-waste into landfill. So even landfills, they're meant to uh, separate e-waste if they get it. But how do you separate small bits, you know? Um, so, so, yeah. It's kind of still a little bit of a joke. It's, someone throws out a, a cell phone into rubbish. How are the la landfill tractor driver going to spot cell phones and uh, they're not going to pick out every little morsel of uh, e-waste that they can see because yeah toasters and or electronic sh you know, shavers and all that kind of thing it's still they, they still get a lot of landfill but I guess overall it's better than just you know throwing it all in landfill at least they, they do pick out as much as they can and the obvious things like when people throw televisions and stuff. There we go. So, yeah, you know, a little bit of, um, you know, throw this in transformers. Not too bad. It all adds up, eh? Um, so, there we go. We've done this one and, well, if this one's the best of the bunch, <laughs> Uh, yeah, not even, I, I, I will, like I said, I've got quite a few of these, so I, I might as well, you know, get the scrap metal and the few boards and stuff from it before I take it to transfer station. It makes it a little bit lighter for me to handle too. Um, but that's as far as we want to go. You know, we can do things, there's this. These little bits, check to see if they're brass. Here, yeah, I've, I've got band-aids all over me at the moment. Um, yeah, it's just steel. Yeah, this is, yeah, I scalded myself, so there were a couple of blisters, so I just want to protect it for now. Um, and here I, I accidentally slashed myself on a piece of aluminium, or whatever it was, so I've got to protect that so it can heal as quickly as possible all right so that's it and so obviously this side we've just got a screen don't want to open that don't want to uh, try and get a little bit more metal because it then it just uh, makes a whole mess and I can get rid of this as a as a TV screen this one's the Samsung, one of the Samsungs. There's three Samsungs. And uh, this one's a little bit heavier. So, see, we've got a little bit more uh, good steel, uh, which is what the only, one of the only things that we can actually sell from this. Um, but, who knows? side let's see what we uh, get board wise and compare the two I suppose all right yep just steel there we go Samsung. Okay. Ah, quite similar. Yeah, very similar. Um, didn't have the uh, the extra expansion cards and stuff, but it, it <laughs> it's actually got a motherboard on the Samsung, which is awesome. Didn't expect that. So we're going to have a most like a CPU. Uh, you know, the fan. There's a RAM stick. So these, these are actually good. Um, so I'll pay to just uh, at least have a look. Um, we're, uh, okay, so I'll just get rid of some of this junk. Um, what 
can go like that, probably. Yeah, so I said I'm just uh, get as much scrap steel off as I can. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this motherboard, that's cool. You don't expect to get a motherboard out of a TV. Had to get a, a new style of uh, side cutters. Um, just got these off of Amazon. This was my normal brand, the King Chrome. Uh, it was meant to be like a double strength, so you can sort of cut through little bolts and stuff, little nuts or screws. Um, but they're discontinued now, so you can't really get them anymore. Um, so these ones were quite, what a... Uh, just a Chinese brand, but um, they also got, you know, like little wire strippers and that. That's the main part I want. I'm just going to test them out. Uh, they're only about here, 25 bucks, so probably about um, 18 bucks US or something like that. 20 bucks US. Um, try them out. You know, for 24 bucks, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's because I do, they... Even though these ones are extra strength, double meant to be double uh, leverage or whatever, um, the blades did run out, and so maybe that's why they uh, discontinued them. Maybe they're they're working on a, a a revamped, a better system because the blades didn't last really that long. And if you're cutting a lot of cords, uh, well, you know it's um, you're turning over, and it's a bit of, bit of a waste, but. We'll see how the new ones go. All right, let's see if it's got the CPU. Motherboard. Oh, it's a heavy little motherboard because it's got a heavy <laughs> heat sink. Oh, yeah, it's a copper. Oh, wow. So it's actually a. Yeah. It's a. What Let me uh, clean this up. Okay, so yeah, quite cool. Um, what I'll probably do, they're only, they're only uh, copper fins with the piping, so I'll just throw this into a copper aluminium radiator, save me the trouble. Uh, of, you know, even though I said trying to maximize the value, but you know, um, looks like we've got that nice AMD CPU. So that's a bonus. Did not expect that from uh, from a display monitor. And the RAM, it's just a one gig RAM stick, so it uh, doesn't have you know resellability. Uh, battery out, and we got another little stick here. Ah. But uh, I might take off because sometimes these can get away with. Uh, uh, still going into RAM. They're kind of like a, a mini. They're not RAM. Yeah. But they're kind of the same sort of thing in a way. Uh, no, nah, they can't go into RAM because it's got this. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no fingers, so it's just a mid grade board. Throw that in. Well, there we go. At least we got a motherboard out of this. Hey. Awesome. Um, it doesn't weigh much now, so we're not going to get a great deal of value out of it, but it's still a motherboard, and you know. But we did get an AMD CPU, remove the copper, 
then we've got a, a fiber CPU, I guess, and a nice RAM. Bonus, oh, actually, uh, a scrapper came and sold me boards and some CPUs and stuff the other day, and here's a couple, they're still on board. Um, uh, this one's an unusual one, obviously it's, you know, solid gold cap, but they're, they're board mounted, so uh, it's probably just a matter of um, using a heat gun and taking this off, but i uh, got one of these uh, with the bolts again, um, but yeah, this is, as I said, it's a board mounted one, it's even got these red tantalum capacitors, they got like a red, uh, fluorescent red or orange um, sort of sticker over them, uh, these are the ones you don't see them very often anymore, but they're, they've got the best um, higher level of silver as well, obviously they've got uh, tantalum, but um, yeah, they've got quite high silver content. Uh, uh, yeah, but as you can see, this is, was you know, the whole thing's cracked, smashed. I could virtually take off uh, probably the cap. In fact, why not? It's as, uh, it's as scrappy as you can get, so might as well have a quick look. Uh, because there's not a great deal of this video that's, you know, really interesting when you're scrapping out. I mean, it's not a TV, it's a monitor, you know, display monitor wonder if uh, I can crack this. Probably not. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Never seen one, you know. It probably cracked when they were trying to break it off the board or something. Nah. Just going to be too hard. But still, a really nice gold cap. Obviously, a lot of the weight is in the bolts and that. And... But uh, within this ceramic, it's also going to be uh, quite uh, nice and said digital semiconductor, 1995. Quite nice. If it was in perfect condition, it would be uh, straight to my, my little uh, collection. Uh, okie dokie. Well. So. I'll probably uh, also do uh, one of the NECs and then, yeah, most of the ones I had were the Mitsubishi and I was quite happy with that, but now that I know that, you know, this has at least got a motherboard and, you know, CPU, etc., I um, kind of wish there was more of these. Oh, well. yeah. Okay. probably do is just take out this whole frame and uh, we can see what's left of two boards and obviously a TCON board up the back but not a great deal and I could just clean take the boards out and uh, send it off to scrap steel So these are very sharp, I, I know they're brand new, but they're a lot sharper than even when my regular ones are brand new, but you know, it might be that the cheap sharpness, you know, it's sharp at the, for now, but uh, give it a few weeks and you know, it might be totally useless. So. alternating between old and new, whatever I pick up first. Oh. Me band -aid. So it's quite, uh, quite muggy today, so my band-aids aren't sticking at all. And I just want to keep the dust off where I had, uh, I had a couple of blisters that kind of popped. All right. Yeah, so there we go. We just got a regular mid-grade, the power board that I'll clean up. And then apart from the wire, the rest is just going to go with scrap steel. Obviously, uh, what's left? Just a T-Con board, I think. Get this out. T 
cheek on board, just a mid grade board. Yeah, won't come out. All right, well, uh, that's the NEs, uh, the Samsung. So I think I got three. Hope I got more. Okay, so this is the last variation of these display monitors I have. It's the NEC. Uh, I've only got a couple of these, so uh, I kind of started undoing the screws, but it looks a little bit more awkward to get into than the others. So, well, I only got two, so if it turns out to be great, um, <laughs> That's not so good, but uh, it might not be so great because, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the, the Samsung ones. At least, you know, geez, you don't expect to get a motherboard and a CPU out of them, so that's all a bonus. Okay. What do we got here? I think it's just... Looks like steel. No. Hey, we've got a, at least we've got a good sheet of aluminium this time. Doesn't weigh much, probably uh, $1.50 <laughs> worth. Okay, oh, okay, wow. So it does have um, kind of like extra boards there, but uh, doesn't look like we've got a motherboard in this one. Oh, well. Biggest can't be chooses all the time. Yeah. So hopefully pickups start picking up <laughs> and um, I start to get some more interesting things. Um, even might even contact my one of my board, uh, not my board buyer, my uh, uh, the laptop buyer and see if he's got any unusual stuff. Uh, that I might have a bit of fun with scrapping. Uh, sometimes he, get, he gets uh, some oddball medical equipment, machinery and all that. And uh, yeah, with a bit of luck, I might get something, yeah, a bit decent. Done that. But aside from that, there are a few things I wanted to catch up on in videos anyway, with uh, as far as uh, scrap metal prices. Um, oh, that's a nice heavy piece of steel. <laughs> yeah, because uh, scrap metal prices have kind of gone up a little bit. And uh, I'm pretty bullish on copper. I think we're we're going to do okay with copper in you know during this year. Um, might talk about that when I do a scrap metal price list check. But yeah, even pressing steel, um, pretty much everything has. Uh, gone up, aluminium, extruded aluminium is a good price, uh, insulated copper wire is um, back over $4 a kilo here in Australia and I've got to take a little bit in and okay, so Oh, we've got a hidden screw somewhere and she doesn't want to come. Oh well, at least we've got a bit, a bit of wire here. Yeah, with the price of um, currently of wire, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, just, just wish I was picking up more reways to uh, make a bit of cash out of it. All right, so we've got this uh, couple of boards. 
but as you can see, uh, not a great deal. That's just a mid-grade board, obviously a power board. A couple of cards here that might just be mid-grade anyway, most likely. Oh, you know, when I say mid-grade, um, again, in places like in America, um, there is a mid-grade, but that's more of a kind of a, a lower mid-grade. Um, they call, you know, mid-grade... Uh, there is also peripheral boards, so in most cases when I'm referring to mid-grade, like this board here, um, it's, it would be considered a peripheral board in, in, in the States, so, just so you don't get confused. Thinking, what am I talking about? Mid-grade is quite low, really. Okay, so that... That would be, like in the States, this is what they would call a mid-grade board. So not really much uh, in the way of IC chips or anything, um, just, uh, you know, aluminium, junk. So this is what, yeah, they would call a mid-grade. Not necessarily low-grade, but, um, you know, so here I call everything mid-grade because it just makes it a lot simpler for scrappers to say, you know, what is this? Instead of saying, oh, is this a mid-grade or this is a high-grade? Uh, high-grade here, to me, is more like server-grade stuff. Um, much better than um, mid-grade. All right. So... Yeah, this one's a little bit different. Ah, just a couple of those plastic plugs. So yeah, once again, as I keep saying, I don't buy low grade anymore. So I just process myself, get the copper, transformers, aluminium, and whatever else I can get a little bit of value out of. And uh, just leave throw the rest away or in scrap steel okay. all right uh, yeah so I'll do the scrap scrap metal yard video uh, through the week and and what else there was another video I was going to do. Can't remember. Um. Okay. Certainly making me work for a bit of scrap steel. That's one way. A bit of brute force. Hey, <laughs> finally. All right, so yeah, as you can see, ah, just a mid grade board, really nothing special. Just got to undo these little things and clean it up and do that. All right, yeah, not, not a great deal more here. Probably some more of those kind of transformy things. Don't, don't know if I'll really bother with them. I had my hole. Scrap is a uh, kind of awkward, really, because uh, 
Uh, I'm not sort of processing the same stuff all the time, so, and not processing as much as I normally would. So, I'm just sort of always out of whack, it seems. But, you know, we just, we just do what we can do. There's no set rule. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of steel. Uh, I guess we get a bit of value. Uh, just not in the boards, in this one anyway. There's my teak on board. There we go. Again, peripheral board if you like, or mid-grade for us. Uh, and so, it's a big difference between peripheral board and mid-grade uh, value in America. It's the same here, but we just call it because we, well, when I buy boards, I just buy it all as mid-grade, but the price is equivalent uh, to a higher grade anyway and yeah but in the states like if you went to board sort you'd have to separate the two and uh, but it, it doesn't take much because most would come under the uh, peripheral board category I think they call something like this a mid-grade board so it's here they're only uh, well technically there are there are more grades like that is kind of like it's it's classed here just as a power board it's actually worth more than say a crt brown board that's a true low grade board but it's just too uh it's too much to try and create so many different grades especially here in australia we just don't I don't get that much uh, scrappers. You know, we've got a much smaller population, so it's it is different here. In one way or another, <laughs> we're going to get this scrap steel. There we go. Here's another piece. Tiny little board here. Going to work on it, not worth it. Might as well get this bit. There we go. Wow, that's a heavy piece as well. Jeez, it certainly took off quite a bit of weight. All right, well, that's it. This is completely scrapped. We've got everything we can pretty much get out of it. You know, I don't worry about these little uh, rim wires actually came off. I'm not going to, should I? Eh, it's just plastic anyway on top, so save me dealing with plastic. All right, well, that's uh, the third one done and uh, yeah I'm just going to continue on and process all these uh, display monitors so I can uh, yeah take them all to the transfer station get rid of them um, there we go so yeah can't really take that to the scrapyard as pressing steel even though there is still quite a bit of steel but there's a, a lot of junk here and, we really want to try and, you know, sometimes I get away with the odd monitor, but trying to get the, the main part of it, the screen, etc., cetera, um, recycled properly, you know, rather than trying to uh, make a bit of money. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of cable here. It's got to go. Some aluminium, uh, batteries, uh, and whatnot. And, um, 
Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah, like I said, it was a bit of a clumsy old uh, uh, scrap session. Sorry for the the wobbling of the camera. I I haven't put it on um, motion. Uh, so, yeah, boards are starting to load up. These are uh, what I call mid-grade. So, you know, peripheral board. There you go. So, you know, it's a, it's a better mid-grade. And then, you know, it balances out. Like, that's a, you know, very a low mid-grade. So, that's how we do it here. It balances out. In the end, you uh, get good money for... Um, both grades really. Uh, yeah, so that's filling up my motherboards, my uh, thing. The, the garage isn't too bad actually. Come in here, I can actually walk through. I only just put a couple of tubs there to uh, depopulating tubs. Um, but uh, yeah, it's all, it's pretty good. You know, got a bunch of laptops there to uh, sell. That'll go a uh, bunch of scrap laptops in the corner there to go. Um, yeah. But uh, it doesn't look like I've got a lot of stuff to scrap, but I do have uh, a lot of things in smalls in wheelie bins that um, just a whole bunch of modems and as well as more cable to process. But uh, once I get rid of these laptops and uh, clear out the boards, um, yeah, I'm going to be ready to go. And just hopefully I get a few more good pickups and, um, and it'll just keep me going for the for this stage of the year, uh, the first quarter, and um, yeah, hopefully we do okay. All right, guys, well, like I said, I'm gonna do a scrap metal run, just get the prices, uh, probably gonna talk about copper and whatever else we can come up with. So keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you real soon.